Thanks for having me, bro. I love you. My pl- I love you, too. Yeah, man. Good to be here. What the fuck's going on? Just saw, uh, you know... Are we ready to go to war with China? Manifesting, bro. Yeah. You see what's going on? Happy we... World War Three Day, everybody. Nancy Pelosi's in China. They're rolling tanks around. Have yeah. you seen this? I yeah. they threatened. They're not a, not a direct threat, but they said if anything happens with those jets, <laughs> you might fire back. Keep your jets out of our area. They said something like that. Uh, that it, Our jets? Yeah, there was some... I'll look it up. To, mm. but, like the, but then they were saying this is not a direct threat. We're not taking this as a direct threat. This is not a threat. And I was like, oh, there's a lot of threats being said a lot. Her and those... 80-year-old sloppy tits of hers are going to get us in trouble. Like, Why I mean, is she there? I don't... Well, there's a whole bunch to that. Like, has to do something with some processing chips that she has some, like, illegal, Look like, insider trading on or something like that. Look at this. In a banned tweet, a top state media commentator reportedly said that China could forcibly dispel Pelosi's plane and shoot it down if it flies to Taiwan. Could you fucking imagine <laughs> if they blow her out of the sky? It'd be crazy, dude. And you see everybody on Twitter just telling China, you know, hey, if it happens, we understand. <sighs> imagine if they fucking execute her. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Because, like, I guess Russia's not happening, so they're like, who else can we go? Russia poke is a happening, loop? though. But, I mean, like, in what terms of, like, I don't know, man. It just seems like the Ukraine is like just a, a complete failed state well russia is ramping up and the the real fear is that um what's going on right now is all happening while the roads are moist uh that you can only travel on the road you can't drive on the ground in ukraine so like they're very limited so their tactics are very limited because when they move the tanks in the ukrainians are shooting at them from the side of the road but once the winter comes you could drive anywhere. Oh man! Yeah. So the, winter is coming. Literally. Yeah. Literally, <sighs> winter's coming. So <laughs> we're we're headed towards September, right? We're in August now. Next month is September, and then once it gets cold in Ukraine, I don't know when it gets cold in Ukraine exactly, but once it gets cold, that ground gets hard. Once that ground gets hard, they can roll tanks anywhere. They can't j- go off the side of the road. They get bogged down now. You think World War Three's coming? I'm very scared. I am too. I I don't trust that anyone is got has got a really good plan to prevent it. You know, it just doesn't it doesn't seem like anybody expected Russia to do what they did in Ukraine and then once once it happens like it's still happening. So it's like how do we get out of that? How does how does uh Ukraine survive it? How does the rest of the world handle it? What happens if Russia takes over Ukraine and then wants to push further? Scary shit, dude. It is scary shit. Because it's like a hot war in, I mean, it's not technically Europe. It's technically Asia, right? But we think of Russia. And how is Ru- Russia is like partially Europe and partially Asia? Is that how it, it is? Uh, Ukraine is definitely in Europe. And I don't know about Russia. Like some parts of Russia are considered to be yeah, like Eastern Europe. Yeah. So, yeah. so Europe and part part of Russia is in Asia, right? Well, I'm it's Armenia, a transcontinental and, country. Mm. Armenia is a part of uh, Asia, but I have like Eastern European Armenian in me, right? So it's kind of so it's like that weird kind of gray space in there, yeah. right there. Fuck, dude. What a yeah. wild world we live in. And it, Ukraine reminds me a lot of Afghanistan and what we did there, which was like, you know, like supplying weapons and funding to mm-hmm. like extremists there and then drawing Russia into a, like a, a, a prolonged war to mm-hmm. try to weaken them. And then eventually the people we gave the weapons to and the money to, we be, make them the bad guys now. And we're like, we got to go solve that problem, too, with, like, al-Qaeda and stuff that was mm-hmm. in, in the Taliban and all that stuff. And it seems like the exact same playbook that they run over and over and over and over again. The difference is they're making the Ukrainians look like the greatest people ever. <laughs> yeah. You know the, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zelensky and his wife on the cover of Vogue. Did Unbelievable. You see that? Yeah. It's very strange to do that in the middle of a war, to have like a photo shoot, like a glamorous photo shoot. While you're like bombing POW like camps and stuff like that. 
killing off your own. It's like what it's, do you mean bombing POW? Didn't camp? they Who's... just bomb like a giant? Didn't Ukraine just bomb like a giant POW camp? I was I was reading and that killed a bunch of people. A bunch of Ukrainians? Yeah, oh, by their accident? own people. I don't know if it was done by accident. <sighs> And you see that a lot. So well, basically, they blacked out the Ukraine. It was very hard to get anything out of the Ukraine. Explosion kills Ukrainian POWs held by Russian-backed forces. Moscow and Kiev accuse each other of targeting Ukrainian prisoners held in Russian-controlled territory. So there's, it's not clear who did it. Yeah, which side? Imagine being a fucking prisoner in Russia, like this Britney Griner situation. Imagine being a fucking prisoner in Russia. And you're like, you are basically caught in a a war. Like, yeah, you, you are a pawn in the war. You're a pawn. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, crazy. I, I feel for any of those people. I feel really bad for her. I feel really bad for Julian Assange. I feel really bad for anybody in America that's in... in, in in a prison for drugs, in particular, marijuana. Yeah. No, it's ridiculous. And how about uh, Edward Snowden? Like, he's still stuck in Russia. And now Russia is, like, technically our enemy. You know, he goes over to Russia to escape the grips of the United States criminal justice system because he reveals that the NSA has been spying on every fucking American. Yep. Yeah. There's no good guys. Yeah, are, <laughs> who are the good guys? And like most of us don't even want to fight with you. Uh, everybody just wants to raise their family, you know, laugh at a good fart joke, drink a little beer, have a little fun, get laid once in a while, and it's like these power elites that all get us all to fight with each other. No, it's it's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. And like.